some hard label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dread. See a lot of What's up, what's up, what's going down, everybody? Coach and Beyond with Coach Sagasta, yo, it's real, man, it's going down. So, let's go ahead and get into this, man. I hope everybody's having a great morning. Oh, man, I love my house. Definitely, man. <clears throat> big, big, big day today, man. I know some great things about to happen. Um, yesterday was a phenomenal day, man, straight up. I can't, I cannot express that enough, man. It was a phenomenal day. Um, got to collaborate with a lot of different people around the world. Um, you, Tam, I appreciate you, man. Definitely this morning. I, I went ahead and I went ahead this morning and sent some people some one minute hookers. These one minute uh, hook, hook, line, and sinkers, they're basically just all they are is, is just words that I, you know, just, just infallible words, man, that, that, that motivate, push you each and every single morning. I wake up like this, man. I wake up like this each and every single morning. And there's nothing more dynamic than for me. For me, myself, there's nothing more dynamic than getting up with enthusiasm, determination, and brushing my teeth with optimism each and every single day. You know, and being able to share that with others, man, is, is absolutely breathtaking, man. Literally. And then when they get back with me, you know, my man Justin got back with me this morning. He was just like, yo, I appreciate the video or, or, the, or the, the soundtrack, the, the, one, hook, the, one, the one hookers. Um, there's just one minute, you know what I mean, a minute and a half. And uh, I put them together. Me and my brother, Matt, we put them together. I don't know. I think me and Matt put them together like three months ago or something like that. I can't really remember the date we put them back. We put them together, but it's just a collaboration of different music in the background, and we just share different messages, you know, with different people. Because I know there's a lot of things that a lot of people are going through. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the word, man. Because I promised everybody I get into the word. I always like to do it around this time, man, about six six thirty. So let's go ahead and get into it real quick. All right. So to you know, today is November tenth. Means you got fifty two days. Fifty two days exactly. Until 2016 is absolutely over, absolutely over, man. And I think the more that you, <laughs> the more that you engulf yourself in, in realizing that that it's almost over. I want to know exactly what you're doing for yourself to better yourself today. So today, today's topic, you've seen lips, man. You've seen the lips, and so I'm gonna give it to you straight, man. <laughs> yo, if you get offended, if you get offended, that's your fault, man. Because the reality is, yo, I'm here to reprove you. I'm here to show you exactly where I found it, man. So in Proverbs chapter 10, it says this in verse 11. It says, the mouth of the righteous man is the well of life. The well of the righteous man is the well of life. And so I looked at that. I was like, whoa, whoa, yo, whoa, Nelly. Here, take me out. Hold up, because I'm not done. Here, hear it out. Here, here's the other part to that. It says, in the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. So I told you like the beginning of this year, I told you like five months ago, I told you like two weeks ago that knowledge gives you confidence. Knowledge gives you confidence. And when you see that, yo, that's where it's at, man. Knowledge gives you confidence. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it destroys fear. It destroys procrastination. And it absolutely destroys all those other things like doubt, you know, worry, and anxiety. It destroys that. And when you don't see that, yo, then you you lost and you trapped in the bubble. My man Pat said yesterday, sometimes people are trapped in the bubble. I said, man, you got to get out of that bubble. Better pop that bubble. Yo, if you need a needle, I will throw you a needle. You pop that bubble and get out from underneath it because I, I don't you don't need to be there. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is information, man. Knowledge is information. If you didn't know that, information changes the situation. So hear me out. Hold up. So I'm going to give you verse 20. <laughs> verse 20 in the same proverb says this, the tongue of the just is as choice silver. Did you hear me? The tongue of the just is as choice silver. So your tongue is like silver, man. So you wouldn't you say, and right now, if you look at silver right now, it's still high. Gold keeps on going like this and like this and like this. But silver, mm, silver keeps rising. You better look at the index. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out. Okay, get coached up. I'm telling you right now, the index of buying silver, and I don't get paid for promoting silver. I'm just saying like, yo, do your homework. But silver always 300, 300, 3.8. 3, 3. I mean, all the way up, man. Gold keeps on doing this, okay? But silver, mm mm. All right, so hold up. Your lips is like silver, right? Your tongue is like silver. Check this out. But the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. 
Did you hear that? Lips, the lips of the righteous be many, but fools want wisdom. So you got to ask yourself, yo, so you definitely got to ask yourself, man, are you counting yourself wise? Are you counting yourself folly, man? You're folly. You're foolish. You know what I'm saying? You're saying things that are foolish, man, because I hear things, man, that people say, and I'm like, whoa, I'm blown away by it. I don't say, I don't reprove them. I don't reprove them because it's not my point to approve people. But I'm just saying like, yo, you got to be careful what you say. Now, we've seen politicians, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was a lot of people on, yo, there was a lot of media outlets that were like doubting the man. Say, he ain't going to win. He ain't going to win. He went down there. You know what I'm saying? But look what happened. You got to definitely check. Yo, you, they should be assessing themselves. And it's like I told my man Shane this morning or yesterday. I was like, dude, why do they always call people? This, this shows me the intelligence of people, man. When they use the word, and this is why I talk about the lips and the tongue of silver. But they use the words, the, uh, the black or the white or the, me or, 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 or the brown. You know what I mean? To me, come on. If you, if you have any intelligence, then say it right. African American, Caucasian, Hispanic, Latinos, use the words that you were properly taught. If you're not, then get the hell out. That's all I got to say, man. Don't be fool. Don't be ignorant. Come on, man. It's not hard to figure it out. If you if you are in that spot, you're on that stage, then use your infinite intelligence, man. Use it right. That's what kills me. Kills me. Yo, hold up. Hold up, because this is the this is the last and I gotta get, man. Here's the last portion. I gotta get, man. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom. But the yo, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you again. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom. But the forward tongue shall be cut out. What yo, what the prophet was saying, what King Solomon is saying is, man, you know what? Hey, straight up right here, the mouth of the just will bring forth wisdom. Things that you Test yourself. Yo, I told my mother-in-law this the other day. I said, but my, I said, Mom, I said, a, a cook will learn to be a cook, and he will surround himself around great cooks. I said, you know, a mechanic will be a phenomenal mechanic when he surrounds himself with a phenomenal mechanics or great mechanics. I said, a scientist in the scientific community will surround himself around other scientists. You don't see a scientist hanging around, you know, some nonchalant dude at the bar and kicking it and saying he's a great friend and he he great and I'm going to continue to engulf myself and employ everything he's teaching me at the bar. What? He don't hang around Skid Row. No, he hangs around people that are of the same mind, of the same nature, that say, have the same attributes. Hello? I'm just saying like, yo. This is where it's at. This, this, these are some of the mediocre people in the world, man. These are the average people that have the average mind, the average mindset. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, whoa, I'm engulfed by this because it says the mouth of the just bring forth wisdom. So when you're hanging around the just people, when you're hanging around the righteous people, when you're hanging around the great people, you're able to speak like the great. You're able to utilize information that changes situations. Hello? I'm just saying, yo, if it, yo, if it, uh, if it don't, if it don't challenge you, it won't change you. That's evident. That's truth, man. And here it is right here. The second part of that says, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. So you're supposed to be moved. So when you start receiving intelligence, when you start coaching this, yo, when you start learning the infinite intelligence, that's when you start talking different, man. I'm, I'm just saying like, yo, this is what I know. I'm just going to tell you what I know. What I've seen, what I've observed, I use my observation. Yo, I tell people straight up, my observation skills are strong, are strong. And I look at the, yo, I look at, I look at the character. I look at the integrity. I'm just saying. You damn, what's up, Shane the Train? What's up? Did you get my video, Shane? Did you see the fam? The fam was on the choo-choo, 1% show, my man Shane. Yo, we posted it up, man. We definitely did it up live for him, you know what I'm saying? We had to. We had to show it live, man. So we did it live for my man. Okay, but now here, here it is right here. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. Did you hear that? The lips of the righteous. You count yourself right. When you count yourself right, you're doing right. You're walking right. You're saying things that are right. It's acceptable. Hello? That's where it's at, man. Come on. Come on. It don't take a rocket. Yo, it don't take you to go to 12 years of college to understand it. Come on. You know what I'm saying? You see all the hey, you see what was that? Bay Harvard? Harvard, you see Princeton or Harvard, whoever it was. The, the, you got practice or professors, whatever you want to call them, teachers, whatever you want to call them, educate, whatever you want to call them. But they all took a timeout. They said, no, timeout for, for, for the political. We'll give all the students a freebie. Not have to turn in their exams. Are you serious? And you count that as being wise? 
We in a hurt of trouble. We are in a hurt of trouble. Are you hearing me? Like this is real, man. You have to start applying knowledge because it builds confidence. It destroys procrastination. It destroys the lack of consistency. It destroys worry. It destroys you know uh, anxiety. It destroys stress. Yo, come on, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm 100 on this. Like 120 all the way, man. And yo, just because you see the Notre Dame don't mean that I believe in luck. Absolutely not. I believe in hard work. I believe in hard work. I believe in elevating yourself each and every single day, waking up with enthusiasm, washing your face with determination, brushing your teeth with optimism. Are you hearing me? Like, yo, it ain't easy. It is not easy. But you know what? If you do it and apply it each and every single day, you'll be phenomenal. You'll be great. It's counted. It is absolutely counted, man. Some of the tools, some of the greatest successful people in life, in life today, what did they do? They surrounded themselves around great people. Because they spoke great things and because they had habits of great things. They had attributes. They had traits of great things. Hello? It's not hard to figure it out. I'm just saying like, yo, you you got to determine what you want in life. You got to determine, yo, use your lips wisely. Speak of righteous things. You know what I'm saying? And say it into the universe. Say it into God. Say, yo, I want this. This is what I'm about to do. This is where I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? Do it each and every single day. 365. Yo, well, you thought it was easy. It was not easy for Coach Sagasta to do it. But I made a promise. I made a vow. I said, yo, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be great. I'm going to move away from mediocre. I'm going to move away from the mediocrity of life. And I'm going to change from being average to being great. And then I'm going to change in 2017 from being great to being phenomenal. And then I'm going to change from being phenomenal to being excellent. Straight up. Why? Because I want it that bad. Because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm bananas about it. Bananas, man. <laughs> Yo, you seen the helmet, man. You seen the towel. You know what I'm saying? What, hey, what is Gatorade's slogan? Is it in you? It is it in you. Are you hearing me? The lips, man. The lips are right. Is it in you? Think about that today, man. So, hold up. I got to get, man. I got to go. I appreciate you guys for sharing the videos. I have love for everybody that's been on my Facebook and on my YouTube. I'm on a timeout right now for Facebook, for my own Facebook. But that's all good, man. It's all good because you know what? Where there's a seed of adversity, there's a seed of opportunity, a, so a seed of optimism. You know what I'm saying? So I'll find different outlets, man. Yo, I, yo, I'll circumvent the system. I'll find the loopholes like the government finds loopholes in every single thing, man. I'll find a loophole. Check this out, though. I want to give you this, man, before I get out of here because this is something that I wrote down. I took a picture and I sent it out to a few people, man. But I wanted to give you this before I get, okay? It's the seven days of, uh, of positiveness. Okay, and I wrote this down just for you all, okay? I wrote this down just for the masses. Check it out. Say it's seven days of positiveness, okay? Day number one, positive attributes. Positive attributes. Find your positive attribute today, okay? Number one, find your, your positive attribute. I don't know what it is. Only you do. I do not know. Only you do. And if you don't, I, I, I recommend that you get in the mirror and you self-assess yourself. Find out exactly what your positive attribute is. Okay, number two, day two, positive beliefs. You got to believe in something, man. One individual said, coach, why? Why do you have faith? Why is your faith so strong? Why? Because it's evident I have to have strong faith, a desire backed by faith. You can accomplish anything, man. Absolutely anything. Take the leap of faith, they say. Why would they say that? Why would they say take the leap of doubt or the leap of, of I don't know? They say take the leap of faith because everybody knows there's absolutely faith. You have to have belief, okay? So believe in that. Day three, day three, okay? Hey, yo, wisdom Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Positive circumstances. It doesn't matter what happens in life, man. When you make great habits, when you make phenomenal habits, it doesn't matter what circumstances come. Yo, I was yo, I was just moved. I was just moved from where I, where I just poured so much passion. I was obsessed with what I was doing. I was removed, but you know what? It didn't stop me. I'm still going strong. 120. They knew that. In fact, they said that before I walked out the dang door, man. They said that. And I said, I'm going to go bananas. Watch me. I'm going bananas. I'm going to go buck wild. Absolutely buck wild. I'm going to give everybody everything they absolutely need. Information changes the situation. That's what. That's right now. That's right now. You feel me? So, okay. Day, yo, day four, day four. Yo, positive determination, man. I tell you, yo, I wake up with enthusiasm. I wake up like this. You could ask my wife. My wife will test it. You ask my kids, they will definitely test. I wake up like this, man. I'm ready to go. I wake up at 2.50 each and every single morning. 
365, man, every single day. Consistency, man. Be consistent. It doesn't matter what's going on. Be determined with a positive nature that you're going to be great today, that you're going to do great things, okay? All right, number, number five, number five, number five. Number five, number five. Okay, here we go. Positive energy. One of the most exceptional things in life today is positive energy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Bob Marley, positive vibration. What? You know what I'm saying? That's what it's saying, man. Positive energy, man. Straight up. Straight up. I appreciate you. Please share where you're from, No Periscope. I love when you guys share. My brother Kaiser is down in Nigeria. He always gets on each and every single morning. He always expresses where he's coming from. And I, I love that, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call him today and see how he's doing, man. That's my beloved brother, man, in Nigeria. All right, so hold up. So positive energy, man. Get that positive energy. All right, all right, here we go. All right, so uh, number six, number six is positive gratification. Be grateful for all things, man. Be absolutely grateful for all things, man. Yo, yo, and the last one. Yo, the positive choices. Make positive choices, man. Make sure that they're absolutely positive choices in everything that you do. Stop, stop procrastinating. Yo, stop, yo, stop being lazy. From Los Angeles, what? Go Dodgers, man. Go Dodgers, yo. It is what it is, right? But now we're looking at the Lakers, man. My son was pulled, my son was telling me last night that they're on a three week, three game streak, three game streak. So yeah, straight up, man. From Los Angeles, I appreciate you. All right, so here it is, here, man. Your choices today should go the extra mile. Your choices today should be about going the extra mile. Go the extra mile today, man. Hey, hey, hey. Because you know what? Others won't, man. Yo. Yo, I'm serious. Others will not. Others will not. Go the extra mile because the guy on the right of you and maybe the guy on the left of you will not go the extra mile. So if you go the extra mile with a positive nature, yo, with the seven, the seven days of positive, I promise you. You'll see great things, man. I promise you. From Bowen, what? Yeah, what's up? What's going down, man? I'm right in your neighborhood, man. So, yo, be absolute, man. Be absolute today, man. Go the extra mile on whatever you're doing and use the set. Yo, I gave you for free. I gave you for free, man, the seven seven days of positiveness, man. I, I, I promise you, man, go further. Go the extra mile with the seven days of positiveness. Go the extra mile. And you'll see some great things come from it, okay? And, you know, it's true, man. I think one of the, you know, the true, one of the truest things that I, I took from you, Tam, yesterday. Um, uh, I can't, yeah, if you want me to, that's most definitely, okay? Hold up. So, uh, I think one of the most exceptional things I took from you, Tam, yesterday, my brother, you, Tam, is in the UK. And uh, I'm finishing my, the telling of my book will be done today. And I'll send that to the UK. Uh, but I, I think one of the most, I believe one of the most exceptional things for men that, that, that turn them to great is their love, is their obsession. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you each and every single morning, man, when I wake up with enthusiasm and I, and I wash my face with determination and I brush my teeth with optimism, it's because I have love, absolutely love, unconditional love for myself, for my family, and for my neighbor. You know what I'm saying? And, and for y'all that don't know, neighbor means others. You know what I'm saying? And that's where it's at. So definitely be about today, man. I appreciate you guys. I have mad love. Respect for all those that share my, my video. I thank you so much for tuning in. Julia, thank you so much. Lisa Franklin, thank you so much for tuning on. Uh, Gene Stuck, I appreciate you for tuning on. Yo, I use my wife's, yo, I use my wife's account because Facebook threw me on a timeout. I have another Facebook account. Um, you might see it has the Notre Dame, uh, Arizona, has the Ar Ar Notre Dame, Arizona, uh, MM, or it might have the cousin. I, I remember. But uh, I have two accounts, man. You'll you'll see the one that's defined as a coach. Um, you'll see that one. It's it's it, it's in black and red. Um, but for everything, man, I appreciate you guys that share my video. I appreciate you guys that are always posting positive remarks. And, and, and you know, I want to do anything I can to help anybody, man. And today's the day. Today is your opportunity. Like Grant Cardone told me, today's your day of opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So make the rest of your day the best of your day. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye now. Hey, 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 real quick, man. I always give three to five extra minutes when I'm on Periscope or Facebook Live. And so let me share with, with, with the astonishing ability today is take the advantage today, man. Everything that I come out is always from my heart. I never script my things. In fact, this is the only thing that I've scripted, okay? And I shared the picture with a lot of people. And if you go into my Facebook, you'll definitely see the picture. Uh, it's for everybody. It's not, you know, it's not for me to hoard. I'm not a hoarder. Um, I like to express, you know, 
with deep appreciation. I like to, you know, definitely share um, the information that I receive. And 90, 99% of the time, man, it's always for free. 1%, you know, 1%, I ask one thing of you, and that's to continue to share my videos. That's the only thing I ever ask from anybody, you know. Um, but, you know, the content is real. The information, the, the passion and love that I have for um, for the masses is actually unique, you know. And uh, the reason why it's unique is because I look at a lot of different people. And I don't watch them. I don't need to. I'm my own person, just like you're your own person. You know, and the, and the faster that you realize that, the faster that you assess yourself and you look in the mirror, you know, the better you'll be. You know, one of the things I always take away from some of the greats, man, is you are destined to do what you want to do in life. And God will give you the God-given ability, the infinite intelligence and ability to do whatever you want. But you have to be congruent. You have to stay true to everything that you do. And you might see my shirt. It, 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 you know, we don't talk about it. We be about it. So be about it today. Make the rest of your day the best of your day. I appreciate you guys for tuning on. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you.